Well, we want to go to the latest from the Ramsey County Jail, a story we brought you last night with Kent. By noon tomorrow, the jail will be down 60 inmates. According to the plan, Ramsey County Sheriff Bob Fletcher sent to the state. Fletcher is also telling the state he will hire more people, but he claims that's been difficult. Despite how hard the county, he says, has been working on recruiting people to work there. This all began, of course, after the Ramsey County Board of Commissioners turned themselves in to the Department of Corrections after hearing concerns about medical care being provided to inmates at the Ramsey County Jail. Well, this morning, that Board of Commissioners met and discussed the plan that Sheriff Fletcher submitted, and Sharon listened to that meeting and is here to get us up to speed on where we left off last night. How did the meeting go, Sharon? Well, to summarize it, not very well. The Board of Commissioners was not pleased to hear about the three incidents the DOC investigation revealed, including having denied or delayed medical attention given to a woman who was having a stroke, a man who had ingested drugs, and a person brought in after a car crash. In a letter detailing his plans to reduce the jail population, Ramsey County Sheriff Bob Fletcher included in his last point that he will be turning to the Board of Commissioners for additional help to increase staffing levels based on the recommendations made by DOC. The board was not pleased to hear that, especially after the county manager says he received a memo saying that the sheriff's department had overspent last year's budget. I received a memo from Administrative Director Mestad outlining the shape of the budget at year-end close for 2022 for the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office. And in that memo, Director Mestad lays out that the Sheriff's Office plans to come in 2.4 to $2.6 million over budget for last year. Which other commissioners addressed by asking even more questions about how exactly that money was spent, especially if issues persisted after the overspending. Is the money spent on training of staff? You know, was it spent on the health care and medical equipment? that they're asking for, you know, um, how many new individuals was hired as sheriffs or deputies, you know, who was working over time, how often, why. That was Commissioner Rena Moran, who seconded the idea of an audit from Commissioner Rafael Ortega, but no specific decisions were made this morning other than a promise to return to the topic in two weeks when they meet again. And apparently at that meeting, Sheriff Fletcher has given his word to be present, to answer questions, and to discuss the internal culture issues that the jail has also been dealing with. Well, from the sounds of it, we should be at that meeting too. Thanks so much, Sharon.